Oh, it's changing all the time, I think. Um, and I think the biggest part about that is social media and just millennials. Young people getting involved in the game, I think, is bringing it to a new level, a new heights. And it's being seen by people, by an audience that would have never seen it before. That's the key to growth, you know, getting the youth. And I think the, the league's done a good job in identifying that. I think it's going to continue to grow. I think as you see different artists, whether it be in like movies, I think you see people attracting to the game, coming out to game, supporting teams. I think that can only help to grow. I feel like the inner city kids are the ones we need to look more and more at. I think those kids are important because I think other parts of the world, those are the kids that go on to be really successful. I'm not saying that's what it takes to be successful. I just think that it's an untapped audience as well. Um, and I think it's because a lot of them don't see enough of a way out through soccer in the way that there is with basketball and football, um, even, you know, golf, stuff like that. I think soccer isn't looked at as the same come up, so to speak. So I think now it's going to change as you see soccer growing in the States and more and more players making a better living through it. I think kids will now say, you know, I can not only travel the world, I can make a great living playing this beautiful game that I love, so. I'm not baptized, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna put that out there. You know, my mom is Jehovah's Witness and she raised us as such. So growing up, I, out of respect for my mother, never partook in the things that she brought us up in. And so that was one of them, you know, uh, the Star Spangled Banner and stuff like that. And I get a lot of reactions from it. I think people, for whatever reason, just, you know, act really negatively towards it. Um, you get a lot of messages from fans, and I know for whatever reason they feel certain ways, but I think you have to remember that we're entitled, you know, to our right to believe in, in what we want to believe in. So, and when you look at the whole Kaepernick situation, like, people went so far to, they tried their best to just change the narrative. Like, what was he actually protesting for, you know? They never took it to that. They took it to he's disrespecting. He's not, that was never his intention, but that was also never the conversation, which is unfortunately how the world is. And when somebody like Kaepernick, you know, starts to talk about, you know, whether it be the mistreatment of black kids, whether it be, you know, sexual harassment, you know, now, which was which is what, what is happening. I, I just feel like the time that he came out to do that, because of the political climate, probably a little bit because he's black, you know, it just wasn't met with the same overwhelming support that you're seeing with a lot of things now that are coming out. Kudos to him for sticking with it, because a lot of people probably would have bowed out when, when things started to get up.